it's Swiftkey, and welcome to a new game, Sheltered. I say a new game and not a new series because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to make this a series or not. Uh, this is a game I've seen on Steam for quite some time now, and it really grabbed my attention, and I've been really interested in playing it. And since I've kind of been looking for a new series, but I wasn't really sure what game to play, I thought I would just try this out for an episode. And if I end up liking it, and you guys end up liking it, then I may record more of it and turn it into an actual series. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard of Sheltered, uh, I don't know a whole lot about it either. Like I said, I've seen it on Steam, but I've never actually watched anybody play it. Uh, but I believe that you have a bomb shelter. The world has ended, as you can probably tell from the screen in front of you. And you're basically trying to help everybody in the bomb shelter survive. Uh, so it's basically, yeah, an apocalypse survival type game. So with that in mind, let's start playing. And like I said, I'm doing this completely blind. I have no idea how to play. <laughs> so this will be interesting for all of us. Customized family. In Sheltered, you look after a family of two adults and two children. Before you begin, you can customize how each individual looks, set their traits, and also their stats. Traits and stats govern how the characters act. For example, a character with high strength is especially powerful in melee combat. Select help on the character customization screen to see detailed explanations on stats and traits. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for those of you who are aware of this, it takes me forever to customize things. <laughs> like when I create a new character in an MMO, I take forever <laughs> to customize my characters. So hopefully this won't take forever. Catherine, okay, I'm gonna assume you're the mother. Oh, I don't know why you change. Oh, is this like the options for what they look like? Does is it just randomized? Weird. Okay. Uh, I kind of like the Indiana Jones look she had going. Not that one. Uh, I don't know. I think this is just random, isn't it? Oh, that sucks. Oh, I guess I'm picking the outfit and then I can change like the colors and things. Uh, not sure why it says deep sleeper. I guess that's her trait. I feel like that would be a bad thing in the apocalypse <laughs> if you were a deep sleeper. Uh, where's the Indiana Jones outfit? Stop giving me the damn polo shirt. Uh, I don't really like the shorts, but you know what? I guess this character is going to be me. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, we can do skin color. I'm pretty pale. I'm guessing I can't give her purple hair. That's disappointing. Um, I'll go with dark brown because my hair used to be dark brown. Head type. That was just like the hair type. Uh, is there any that, mm, that kind of looks like my hair? Mm, God. It's hard to find like good pixely type hair to use. Mm, let's go with that long haired one. I kind of like that body type. Oh, this is where the outfit changes. Okay. What do we want to go with here? I think we'll stick with the jacket and shirt combo. Um, yeah, let's give you jeans. I feel like that would be better for you. Deep sleeper, proactive, hands-on, optimistic, resourceful, hygienic, small eater, courageous, deep sleeper. Uh, I'm not a deep sleeper. I'm not super proactive. I'm kind of lazy, to be honest. I'm kind of hands-on. I'm definitely opti- mm, I'm not- I'm kind of optimistic. I'm more of a realist, really. Mm, I don't know how resourceful I am. I'm very hygienic. 
Small eater, not really. Courageous, eh, not really. Uh, let's go with hands on. Well rounded, violent, good upbringing, well educated, athletic, troubled, street smart, logical. Um, what's the good upbringing? Very charismatic. I'm not very charismatic. <laughs> Well-educated. Mm, I am well-educated. I do have two university degrees, so we'll go with- I'll be the smarty pants. So, swift key. Yeah, that's me. I'm gonna die horribly. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna be good. Alright, so that's one parent. This is parent number two. Alright, I guess we'll make it a boy. Um... I'll name it after my husband's online tag. Oh, I can't fit it. Sorry, dear, your vertical even. <laughs> his, his online tag is a vertical event, but I'm just gonna call him vertical because I can't fit vertical event and vertical even looks hilarious. Uh, we'll put him, he would definitely wear a tank top. <laughs> Seems very appropriate for him. Uh, he likes wearing jeans, so I'll put him in jeans. Uh, he's pale like me. He's like even paler than I am, so I'm gonna give him the palest option. That hair is actually kind of accurate. Uh, he's got like medium brown hair. I'll go with that. He's actually got like curly ish hair I think probably the first one was probably the best uh, I kind of want to give him the bandana I'm gonna give him the bandana just for the sake of it body type uh, oh Jesus <laughs> sorry honey you're a mercenary now <laughs> that kind of matches the bandana situation that's funny put him in a suit that'd be accurate um oh god just have him shirtless <laughs> that would be hilarious uh yeah we'll just keep him in regular jeans oh i can give him like shoes shoes that match his bandana that's cute let's go with that all right what are your traits gonna be uh you're definitely mm, matthew or not math. I, I called him by his real name, but we'll say vertical uh, for those of you who caught that. Uh, vertical, he's pretty, he's a bit, he's not really a deep sleeper. He's pretty proactive. He's kind of hands-on, but I said I was hands-on, so optimistic and eh, sort of, sort of resourceful. Definitely hygienic. He's not a small eater. Uh, he's kind of courageous. Um... I'm gonna say he's proactive. And. Troubled. Street smart, logical, well rounded, violent. <laughs> I'm not giving him violent, though it would be nice to have like a high strength stat, because I went with. Did I go with well educated? So yeah, I didn't have a very strong strength stat. We need someone who has high strength. Uh, athletic, he'd be very dexterous. Hmm. Troubled has a lot of strength, too. Uh, sorry, dear, you're gonna be violent because I need that strength and dexterity stat. <laughs> so, Vertical, you are now violent. Oh, yeah, our future non-existent children. That will be useful. All right, uh, yeah, sure, a fresh child can be a boy. Uh, what are we gonna call him? We'll stick with Arthur, I guess. I don't have names picked out for my non-existent future children, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just stick with that because I'm not feeling particularly... Uh, particularly creative right now. Um, give you a green shirt, I guess. Khaki pants. Yeah, 
probably going to be super pale like your parents. Uh, I'm naturally blonde and vertical is like naturally light brown. So our future children will probably have like light brownish hair. Because like I said, I'm naturally blonde, but it's like a dark blonde. So yeah, that's probably accurate. Let's give you some better hair, dude, because that first hairstyle was, oh God. You're not wearing a fedora. <laughs> we could give you a little bandana so you look like your dad. That'd be cute. Uh, bowl cut. Oh dear, what's going on there? Oh god, you can't even see. Yeah, I'm not giving my future child a mullet. Like, what is this? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, god, I don't know. You're a kid. Who cares what your hair looks like? I'll just give you the standard, I guess. Uh... Not much options for kid clothing. Is that a hoodie? Yeah, you can have a hoodie. Uh, I'll give you cargo pants. You can be resourceful. Rough and tumble, well-spoken, brain box, hyper, bully, alert. Uh, you're a resourceful child, so we'll give you alert, because that gives you high perception. Alright, next child that I do not have. We're definitely not calling you Roger if you're a girl. Uh, I don't know. Oh, sorry, that's my Java update being annoying. We're going to call her Ray. Is that how they spelled Ray in the movie? I don't even know. How did we... Or actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to name them after Overwatch characters. Um, so we'll have Tracer. And we'll, we'll name the kid Reinhardt, because that's Vertical's favorite character to play. Uh, Tracer's, Tracer's not my fave character, but I do really like her, and I do like playing her, so... We'll go with that. Um, we're gonna put you in purple. Kinda like the white pants, even though that's super impractical for the end of the world. Give you pale skin. Um, I actually like that hairstyle, it's kinda cute. We'll give you like blondish brownish hair. That's kinda like strawberry hair though. We'll give her blonde hair. I like the headband, it's cute. I'll give her a little like dress, cute. Uh, let's give her that, that's cute. And she can be... Uh, we'll make her optimistic. Smarty pants, know it all, rough and tumble, well spoken. We'll make her, we'll give her well spoken. So we've got Swiftkey, who's hands on and well educated. Vertical, who's proactive and violent. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, dear. Uh, Reinhardt, who's resourceful and alert. And Tracer, who's optimistic and well spoken. All right, this is our family. Look at us. We're totally living. Uh, family name. Oh, dear. A pet's name. Oh, I get to pick a pet? Oh, my gosh. This is the best day ever. Uh, I don't want to use my real last name. Um, even though my first name's Swiftkey, I'm going to use the key, key as the last name. So, actually, I'll go back and change my first name to Swift so I'm not Swiftkey Key. So, yeah. There we go. So we got Swift, Vertical, Reinhardt, and Tracer, and we're the Key family. And our pet's name is gonna be Mika, named after my real life cat. Uh, all right, what do the pets do? This trusty goldfish provides an escape into an underwater world of peace and tranquility, provides a large stress reduction to all family members, requires cleaning out every seven days and feeding daily. Snake has the ability to keep rats away. Whilst the snake is out of its vivarium, no rats will come to the shelter, even whilst it is dirty. Requires feeding every other day, beware its bite. 
A horse? Really? I can have a horse in my bomb shelter? Majestic and beautiful. The horse can be used to travel the wasteland at a faster pace. Capable of carrying items with a saddlebag. Requires three portions of food a day. Don't forget to build a stable. Okay, that's a high maintenance pet. A dog! Man's best friend. Can be taken out with you on expeditions to increase your perception and help you in combat. Provides a small stress reduction to all family members. Requires daily feeding. Kitty! The cat is a natural hunter. Excellent at killing rats. Any rats it kills will be transferred into the freezer. Provides a small stress reduction and requires feeding every other day. Uh, the cat seems like the right choice. Uh, dogs help you in combat. But they require feeding every day. Cats only requiring feeding every other day. They keep rats away. And also the rats can be used for food. So we're going to go with that. Sure. Do you want to play this tutorial? Uh, I guess. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Desperate for materials. Try recycling items or deconstructing objects that you don't need. Alright. This is gonna go horribly. I'm gonna kill everybody. <laughs> like I said, this is why I'm not sure if this will become a series, because it might go horribly, horribly wrong. But then again, if it does go horribly, horribly wrong, people might want to see more of it. Because I've heard this game is like pretty stressful and difficult. All right, so what are we doing here? How do I move the camera around? I can't, is this a cutscene? All right, so we're in our bomb shelter. Oh, there we go. Now I can move the camera. All right, now what? Look around the shelter by moving the cursor to the edge of the screen with the mouse or move the camera with the arrow keys. Zoom in and out with left control. Okay, take a good look at your surroundings. All right, this is all I got to work with, huh? Oh, there's our kitty. Highlight an object and press right mouse to interact with it. The shelter is powered by a petrol generator. Add fuel to the generator to restore power. Add fuel. Get on it, Swift. You can do it. Aw, look at my kitty. So cute. Commands will be performed by the currently selected family member shown at the top left of the game screen. The generator must be kept running to power vital life support systems. Okay. Aw, you guys don't look very happy. Uh, spread work across the family to avoid tiring. Highlight a family member and press left mouse to select them. They also use Q or E to cycle through all the shelter members. Regularly fix items to prevent them from breaking. Fix that generator. Uh, this icon will repair over any items that are in need of repair. Okay. Thanks, dear. Now what? It's even more important to look after the family. Remember, highlight a family member and press left mouse to select them. You can also use Q and E to cycle through. Select Swift for this task. All right. Stats show this character is thirsty. Red bars require attention. Remember, Hilo. Okay, go drink some water, my dear. How can you be thirsty already? We just got here. God, woman. Drink water from the water, but. <laughs> uh, your goal is to survive for as long as possible. You can explore, expand, maintain the shelter, and keep the family healthy to help achieve this. Explore and gather resources by using the radio transmitter to set up an expedition. Expand the shelter and build new items with the workbench. Your next step might be to explore, to build, or check on your family. How you survive is up to you. All right. So how is everybody doing right now? Everybody appears to be doing okay. What, what is this? Journal view. Day one, so it begins. We only have each other now. Our family consists of Swift, Vertical, around her Tracer, and our pet cat, Mika. I can't believe we found this place. It's a bit rough around the edges, but we'll provide good protection from the elements. Hopefully no one finds us down here. We just want some peace. Yeah, that's not gonna go well. No active quests. All right, looks like we have the parts to upgrade a system. Do we though? How do I upgrade? don't know if I should upgrade something. If I'm going to upgrade anything, it should be like the... Oh, there's something down here too. Oh, that's the workbench. All right. Uh, I should probably upgrade this. Can you increase your shelter's efficiency by upgrading your oxygen filter, generator, and water filter? Shelter stores can also be upgraded to help against shelter breaches. Okay. 
amount of fuel that can be held, increases the durability, and increases fuel use. Hmm. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Okay. Um, no, I don't want to do that. How do I upgrade like the oxygen thingamajigger? You haven't left the shelter for a few days. Have a few days passed already? Fill the food. Just assign your shelter member to a job. Jobs appear next to the selected member's portrait and you can have a maximum of two jobs on the queue. Jobs include actions such as fixing, repairing, crafting, eating, drinking, showering, and sleeping. You can cancel a job by pressing C or clicking X. All right. Rain on surface, hazmat suits, intercom, radio transmitter, clipboard, journal. Can I upgrade this? No. All right, I guess we will set up an expedition. Going on and allows your shelter members to search waste on for items and resources and create other race on survivors to your shelter. You have as many, con as many concurrent expeditions as you like, but party size is to maximum. All right. All right, I guess Swift is the only one going out. Plan your route. You can plug exactly where your party will travel by adding waypoints on the map. Expeditions cost water. The longer the expedition, more water required. Okay. I want to use up too much water, so we'll hit those two points. Choose your equipment. Preparation is key to a successful expedition. You may want to take items to trade and equip other items, such as weapons. Remember to equip gas masks to each part of the little, otherwise you'll become ill. All right. Equip. Do we have a weapon of any kind? Pipes. We do not have any weapons. Are you serious? Kind of like hit people with a freaking bucket. All right. Um. Don't want to take too much stuff. Uh, whoa. I don't know like what most people will expect when we trade. I don't want to give up any gas. Uh, what is this stuff? Oh, this can be equipped as a weapon. Uh, I don't know if I have the strength to wield that. But I'll put it there anyway. All right, girl, please don't die. Confirm, sure you're ready to, oh God, so it's gonna die. I can see this going down real fast. Oh dear. 97%, fuel generator, honey pantry. Expand the shelter and build new items with the workbench. Craft item, building and upgrading. Building new systems upgrading is important as it, they will help you run your shelter more efficiently. You can find items out in the wasteland, then use them to upgrade or create new items here. You can also expand your shelter by crafting new rooms. All right, uh, first aid kit, shelter room, ladder, cement. I craft rope. Small water butt. Grave. <laughs> Mop and bucket. Got gas masks. Sleeping bag. Rat traps. We don't really need that. Makeshift shower. Jesus dirtiness. Hmm. 
Let's make a first aid kit. I feel like that will come in handy. Because yeah, we don't have a shower or a toilet in here, do we? Water storage at max capacity. Oh, because it's raining. Do you copy? Someone's trying to get in touch through the radio transmitter. An icon is shown above the transmitter whenever this happens. Support and answer transmission so you can communicate with family members who are on expeditions. All right, um, child. Stop transmission. Searching locations is the best way to acquire items and resources. These will differ in variety and amounts depending on the amount of type of location search. You may also encounter other wasteland survivors in locations, so always be prepared. Hello, Swift Hair. I stumbled across a small fire and it looks like you might have some good stuff. Want me to take a look? Yes. You do that thing. Looks like we have the parts to upgrade a system. Yes, thank you, Tracer. Oh, I got an achievement. Hooray. Good job, you. Uh, craft item. We should probably make a toilet and a shower. Uh, yeah. Should probably also make that. We have lots of that stuff, so uh, we'll put it over here. Oh, child, child. Except transmission. So to base, there's somebody in the small farm. It looks like they want to talk. What should I do? Get involved, or you handle it. Get involved. Whoa, that's a very ominous sound. Hi. Oh, Jesus. Great, another survivor. Don't give me goddamn peep about starting a brave new world. Okay, I'll just say hi then. <laughs> saw, it all saw it all left, but course was morons. Like, you're thinking there's still a goddamn chance. Just because you've given up doesn't mean everyone else has. Fight or walk? Uh, let's just walk away. You can crawl off and die somewhere for all I care. Yeah, I, I don't want to get into a fight. I'm the smart one, not the strong one. All right, children, is there anything I can have you do? Like, are you capable of crafting items? Because I can make you do that. Uh, where are we going to put this toilet? Uh-oh, someone's feeling hungry. Extreme hunger leads to malnutrition, which leads to death, so make sure you have a supply of food. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Food can be found by searching locations or you can build traps to catch animals on the surface. Alright, the shelter member is tired and needs to sleep. Tiredness prevents you from taking part in activities that get experience and they will let you know if they are tired. Craft an object at the workbench to satisfy this need. Alright, um... Escape. Who is hungry? You are hungry, so why don't you eat some food? How you doing, Vertical? You're getting sleepy because I'm making you do too much stuff. All right, um, you, go craft a sleeping bag for your dad. Uh, and he's three nylons? God damn it. Yes, Tracer, you go ahead and make that sleeping bag for your dad. Oh shit, there's a transmission. Ah, damn it. I missed it. Child. My luck, she like missed the opportunity to scavenge something. Except transmission. Hello, vertical. This is Swift. I can see what looks like a lumber yard in the distance. Should I check it out or stick to the route? Investigate. You should be doing okay for water, Swift, because, you know. Uh, why don't you sleep? There you go. Beautiful. Uh, you, child, why don't you clean the structure? Uh, other child. I don't even call you by name. I'm just like, child, do this. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm paranoid other stuff is breaking. Everyone else seems to be doing okay. Oh, I do still need to uh, make a toilet of some kind. Oh dear. That's just embarrassing. Oh, oh, other child. Other child. Answer that transmission. Hi, this is it. It looks like this lumber yard has some stuff that might be useful. What do you think? Examine them. 
You can transfer items that you find in the wasteland on the right to your carried items left. You can also discard carried items by swapping them out. All right. Um, man, why did I bring so much crap with me? Mannequin leg. Definitely want the wood. I don't really want to get rid of any of this stuff. We'll take the nail because it can stack. Paint can. Sturdy metal bucket. And a valve. Hmm. We have tons of nails. So we can probably leave those. What's this use? There appears to be some early signs of rot. Could be recycled. Let's take the bucket. We're getting low on buckets. And yeah. All right. Yep. Note to self, don't bring so much crap next time. Keeping it clean. I think somebody needs a shower. Poor hygiene leads to stress and severe cases of food poisoning, so it's important that you wash themselves from time to time. You crap not in the workbench. God damn it. You guys are so freaking needy. All right, let's craft a shower. Where the heck are we gonna put this thing? There's like nowhere to put it. Are you serious? God damn it. Okay, so let's rearrange things. Why can't I put anything over there? Don't really want to put the toilet right next to the transmitter. Oh, hey Swift, you survived. I'm glad. I was concerned. Um, can this go over here anywhere? Apparently not. Day two. All right, uh, confirm move. And yeah, I know you're sleepy. Dude, like, how are you still asleep? Get up. Sweet. Into your shelter storage, cool. All right, would you give me a minute? Dude, you need to get up. How do I get him up? Do I need to like get him to do things? Why don't you go fix a generator? Yeah, I know you need a shower, my love. Uh, why don't you, can I get? I won't freaking fit anywhere really annoying oh it'll fit right there all right get to work kid are you still asleep like can you wake up please how do i there we go Jeez, louise all right child go to sleep yeah i'm working on the shower all right all right so i think this is a good part to end this particular part and we'll come back next time and hopefully poor swift key will have had a shower oh that's a deer with a skull face okay so yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of this series. Do you think it's worth continuing or are you kind of over it or what? What do you think? Uh, let me know. And if you guys are interested in me doing a series of it, I'm more than happy to do that. I am quite enjoying it so far. So with that in mind, if you guys did enjoy this video, please press the like and subscribe buttons. I really do appreciate all of your support and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.